Hey there, I'm Ken, this is Canadian Retro Things, and today I am going to play Wordle. As soon as I can figure out how to connect this thing to my computer. I have a confession to make. I've never played Wordle at least until this week, and, well, I've never played it on one of these. I have, however, played it on this. Actually, I've played Kokodal, which is the version of Wordle that has been made for the color computer. Wait a second, there's a version of Wordle for the Coco, I hear you ask? Why, yes, yes, there is. You see, last week on Coco Talk, that would be episode 248, Rick Adams came on and mentioned that he had uh, developed a version of Wordle for the color computer. Yes, that Rick Adams, the man behind one of my favorite color computer games of all time, Temple of Rom. Now, his version of Wordle is still in the works. It's still being fine-tuned. But if you'd like to get a hold of the latest version of it, then you've come to the right place because I'm going to show you how to do that. So let's fire up the computer, download what we need, and then we can test it out on real hardware, my Coco 3. And when that's done, I am going to show you something else that's related to this that is also very exciting. All right, here we are at the GitHub page where the game is located, and I will put a link to this page down in the description so you can click on it and follow along, or you can click on it later and download the game whenever you want. And I am going to be doing this on real hardware, but it also works on emulators. So one thing about this is that the source code is included, so you can feel free to take a look at it if you want to. And I think we should. So here is a listing of the entire program, which is written in basic. Now it does extend off the screen here a little bit on a couple of the lines, but yeah, that's the entire game right there. So if we go back, we see that there are two text files included with the game. One is where the five letter word that you must guess is chosen from. And as you can see, there are 2,311 words in this text file. So lots and lots of replayability there. And the other file contains, let's see here. Well, 10,663 words. This is the file for validating that your guess is a proper word. Now, one of the interesting things is that most of the words in the first file don't appear in the second file. So to save space, the game actually validates against both of the text files when you guess a word. So the next thing to do is that we have to download the actual disk image, which is right here. So it's uh, this button or this one here. And we download the disk image, download it, save it, shrink that down and bring up there, this is my SD card, which I'll be using in my Coco SDC. And now we have to take the disk file, put it into there. And now we can eject this SD card and stick it into the real Coco 3 and run it on my computer. All right, so here we are. It is loaded into my Coco SDC, and as you can see, it's ready to go, but I'm not going to directly run the program. So if you take a look, the disk is loaded in there. We can load up the program because I want to prove to you that 
this is the same game we were looking at on the GitHub and it is running on a what would essentially be the same image as would be on a five and a quarter inch 80 track Tandy standard disc. Now we did have a small discussion about this and if it were running on a real disk drive there would be a lot of seeking on the disk to verify the words so the disk drive would be making a lot of the um, grrr, grrr sound so I currently don't own an actual disk drive so we're just using it on my Coco SEC. Now to make it easier to see we'll change the width to 80 list the first hundred lines and there is the basic program list the last program there that is it that is the entire program so we can run it oops if I could spell oh great I'm playing a spelling game and I don't know how to spell so one of the things is if you put in something that's not a word Seeks it, doesn't find anything, rejects it. So then we can test this out, and there is an M and an L, okay? They are in the word, but in the wrong places. When it's yellow, that means they're there, and they're in the wrong places. Okay, L and I are the first two letters. And L-I-M, so we're getting closer. There we go, I have done it in four guesses. So there we go, so the yellow means it's the uh, right letter in the wrong place, and green means it is the right letter in the right place. And that is Kokodal on the color computer running on real hardware. So what's the other thing you wanted to show you? I hear you ask, well, this is it. We are here in the Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project. Um, and as you know, I've been doing some videos on that. And Curtis has, L. Curtis Boyle, one of the writers of uh, this project, has sent me a disk, which I currently have in disk drive one. So I have my hard drive in disk drive zero and this disk in disk drive one on the Coco STC, of course, so virtually. And it is a basic 09 version of Wordle or Kokodal, which is the color computer version. And so he has taken uh, Rick's version, basic version that he wrote, and he has changed it over to basic 09. So we can take a look at it. Okay, so we load. There we go. So there's two programs included in it. Let's just list the main program. And this is the basic 09 version of Kokodal. So we run it, and there we have it. So uh, it's a little bit different than the version that Rick has. It's uh, more based on an older version where you're guessing at the top of the screen rather than directly into the boxes. The exciting thing about it is that in the next update of Nitrous 09, this will have its own desktop icon in the GUI and it's going to be included in there. So you'll be able to play it either the basic version from Rick Adams or on Nitrous 9 Ease of Use project. You'll be able to play it right from the GUI or wherever you want to on this project. Well, there you go. That is my 
video about Kakodal for the color computer. Remember, you can go and follow the link in the description to download it if you would like to try playing it. I do recommend it. It's a lot of fun. But uh, that's everything in this video for now. So I hope you enjoyed this. If you did, you know what you can do with the liking, the subscribing, and or the commenting below, because anything and everything you do is always greatly appreciated. But I have to get back to playing my games, so I will see you next time.